some serious stuff that we're doing. Um, we're about to go inside the building and do a seance and summon some type of spirit or demon. We want to summon some crazy sh If we're going to be here and we're going to be going around in these buildings, I mean, you like full send this shit. Bro, what are you doing? What was wrong? Bro, 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 relax. Dude, stop. What are you doing? What the f? You say something. What? Oh, dude. Holy, My neck. Holy shit. Look at this. Dude, you got scratched. By what? The scratch. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Tonight, Chris and I are spending the night at one of the most notoriously haunted places on the entire planet. Huh? Penhurst Asylum. On what? the planet? Yes. You didn't tell me that. Well, good thing you I got suck. the boys over here. Yes, <laughs> on the planet. Screw you <laughs> most guys. haunted place on the planet. Well, <laughs> I no, think seriously, I left can, my can you fill us in a little bit? Yeah, no, like, all, and all jokes aside, uh, this place got some serious history behind it. One of the most you know, notorious things about this place is it was oh, understaffed and way too many patients so it was like overload was what was going on here so in a nutshell a lot of things probably didn't get taken care of the way that they should have now those things were patients and as you all know um it actually was not i learned this today it wasn't always called pinhurst asylum it was right, like right. a state I, school I and all of that but um this was mainly for people with like epilepsy or some type of mental disability um which is kind of scary to think that the building behind you is where they would put people like who were like crazy crazy like insane and those patients would fight other patients they just they wouldn't know what's going on right right so any of the most dangerous patients would be in that building right there cool. and not to mention some of the torture that they did in order to prevent biting and all of that they would actually pull their teeth out oh no okay. it's kind of crazy so cool. well thank you for that yeah ma'am so on like a rough scale about how many patients have passed here Probably more than you can count. Pretty high number. Well, I did want to say really quick, you guys don't even know this. This is Chris's first ever paranormal like experience ever. Hey. Ever. Yeah. Breaking me in right. Fresh beast. <laughs> they don't touch you. Grab you. <laughs> and they shake it till you're just <laughs> choking out. Okay. All right, I'm ready. I'm so excited. Right, cool. Yeah, I can't wait. Thanks. But no, seriously, fun. I thought, what better way no, to start is, them off here? Like, this yeah. is a great place to start. I mean, this, I mean you're, this is kind of like going to the Daytona 500 of haunted places, man. Like, you're, you're Always going go to Daytona. witness something. Like, we've already witnessed a couple things, even during, like, the daytime, like, when the sun was going down. We were up here. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but we were in the Mayflower building. Uh, Katie and I were up on the third floor, and we were, like, chasing the sound back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um and also the tunnels in the basements have some, some creepy stuff going I on. I can't so. wait to hit those, so. Yeah. All right, guys, well, yeah. we're just gonna jump straight into this one. And if you guys are excited for this haunted adventure, make sure to smash that like button. If you guys wanna see more haunted experiences, haunted trips and all the sorts, make sure to comment down in the comment section below where you guys want us to visit next. And with all that being said, Chris, you ready? I guess. You wanna go in yeah. the scariest building first? Yeah, let's just get on, all Chris. the way. Let's go. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another crazy, scary, haunted video. The footage that you're about to watch is from the night where me, CJ Faison, Chris Baird, and Sonny Deeds visited the famous haunted Penhurst Asylum. This was one of the scariest nights of my entire life. And yes, this is a re-upload from about two years ago. You guys are loving the re-uploads here on the second channel. And personally, this is one of my favorites. So I know you guys are going to enjoy this one too. Just get ready because in this night, you're going to see some crazy activity. At one point, I had some hot feeling on my neck. Like it genuinely felt as if something just clawed at me. It was, it was horrifying. And by the end of the night, I really did believe that something was following me because Chris and I were on like a little bit of a road trip and we were staying at a hotel. And when we got to the hotel, I still felt as if something was with me. So pretty creepy, pretty scary. Uh, if you guys catch or see anything that we may have missed, let us know down in the comment section below. If you guys want more videos like this, let me know. Smash the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel as well. One last thing before we get into the video, I have been doing these re-uploads because 
I've been uploading for over five years now, and there's a lot of videos that you guys probably have not seen. Just kind of gets buried, you know, behind everything else. I wanted to know if you guys wanted me to start re-uploading some of my favorite uh, random nautic experiences with Chris, CJ, Angelo, Ben, all of them. Let me know. I can make it happen. We could have a little bit of a random nautica marathon. But with all that being said, enjoy today's video from Penhurst Asylum. Let's do it. Let's do it. We want to summon some crazy shit. Like if we're gonna be here and we're gonna be going around in these buildings, I mean, you like full send this shit. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? You if somebody's leave. gonna get possessed, yeah. it's more likely not gonna be me. Well, here's the thing: we all gotta play because you know what they say: the one who doesn't play usually gets possessed. Exactly. Them. He, so, brought, he brought a Luigi board. I don't know if we can use it, but I did bring the Luigi board. Yes. It's in my car. Dude, let's do it. I asked him and I was like, hey. But Katie's like, oh God. I yeah. asked him and I was I like, hey, can we use the Ouija board? <laughs> and you know what he said? He was like, we don't usually allow Ouija boards or like haunted items to be brought here. What? So I was like, what do we do? Slide yeah. him a 20. Slide him a 20. Yeah. It's a custom made board specifically for me too. Like a fan let's made it for it. me. It's pretty sick. Let's do it. So I say we do it. If we could get some candles, Let's see if he would even play with us. If we did a seance or summon the demon, like you said. I'm down. Like a look at Sonny. He's he, like, yeah, look at him. He's all What the fuck is it. wrong with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. This is some serious stuff that we're doing. Um, we're about to go inside the building and do a seance and summon some type of spirit or demon. Something along those lines. I don't really know any demons. So I like, think I don't, damn, they're going to summon the demons. Those two right there. I'm down. Yeah. I'm down. I'm and down. I'm going to sit back and too. watch. Because they say that the only way to really prove skeptics that someone doesn't exist is to see do it. it. Test it the full Test way. It, right? Experience it. Experience it. Don't yeah. pansy out. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do let's it. Let's do it then. Sonny, you ready? I ain't summoning shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> so, Chris Wait. and I. Oh, sorry, I couldn't talk to one of you for a sec. Sorry. So, Chris and I are splitting up. <laughs> from uh, CJ, Katie, and Sonny. They went down into the basement. We're going on to the third floor of the Mayflower Hole. Now, supposedly the third floor is where a lot of the crazy shit happened. Now, a lot of dark, twisted, and evil things supposedly happened up here on the third floor. So Chris and I decided what better way to start than for me and him to go up there ourselves. So I got this cool little light thing right here. Now, if you look down on the floor, it's like a laser grid. Now, if anything was to walk in front of this, you would see the shadow like that, right? That's pretty cool. And then we have this monkey. I'll introduce this in a second once we get up there. But, you ready? Yes, sir. All right. I wish I had a flashbang to throw on right now. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so, Chris. Yes, sir. When I was here last time. Okay. In, in the Penhurst, right? Now, the only time, I really want to say only the... the the main thing that happened to us here is on the third floor, okay. where we're going right now. A broom that was against the wall slammed on the floor. So. Okay. Sounds fun. Who's that? Exciting. Here we go. One more floor. Flickering go. lights. Sir. Here we go. Third floor. What's that? What? What'd you see? Oh, my footsteps. Footsteps? Can you quiet for a second? The, the room you see straight down. <laughs> That's one of the most active rooms in this entire place. I love how every door is. Oh my god. What? Look at me. The reflection? What is that? Alright, so Chris. You? I'm gonna go ahead and introduce this monkey. Now. The monkey. Can you do me a favor and hold this for a sec? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this bad boy on. I actually. I'm not sure how. How. What's that? Yeah, I heard that too. I'm just kind of ignoring it. 
I don't know. Like I said, I'm super skeptical. You know, I haven't really done like a haunted adventure in a while. And that's why I wanted to come here too, because I, I wanted to experience, here we go. So I turn it on here. Now this essentially is like a REM pod. You have to be really close to this or literally touching it for this to go off. So I'm gonna leave it in the middle of this hallway right here. We're gonna be looking all different ways. So it's gonna sound like this, we'll hear it. So obviously it's going off because I'm touching it. Now, see. So see, this is literally what I have to do for it to go off. Like, look how close I have to be. Yeah. So that'll explain something. Let me close this door. So there's no like bullshit going on. Stay closed. I won't stay closed. You'll stay closed enough. Okay. All right. So let's head down here. Okay. Now I'm gonna start this off very unorthodox. If there's any spirits in here that would like to talk to Chris and I, please come forward. My name is Jazz. Introduce yourself. My name is Chris. And we are very friendly people. Well, Sorry, the on. Thanks for the moment. So, this is crazy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so crazy. old. Like, it's not in bad shape, like for what it is. It's just not. Oh, the doll. Holy yeah. shit, that scared me. So, damn, well, there's toys in here. What's up? There's a bunch of toys in here. Alright, Chris. What do you think it is? What's up? What yeah. Things? Can I see that for a sec? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up facing this way. This wall right here. Mm -hmm. I wanna I'm gonna set it up. Set it up there. Alright, cool. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna sit right here. Sure. And we got some cool toys in here. So yeah. we have this ball, for example. Now I'm gonna say. Roll around and stuff. If there's any spirits in this room that would like to talk to Chris and I, please feel free to come forward. Um, if you would like to in any way touch me, feel free. If you would like to come forward, walk past from that side of the room to here, please do. Now, I do want to say, if there's any spirits in here, can you let us know? Can you make a sound? Can you give us some sort of indication that something or someone is here? Yeah. Okay. I was wondering if it was, um, they probably all went downstairs to CJ. Well, they're all in the basement. Yeah, so that's... Probably. No, it's not that, the sound wasn't on, I'm saying all the ghosts probably went down there with CJ. I mean, it could be, you never know. Yeah. Well, let me see. Obviously, she she's a skeptic, so that, again, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to bring her, but... Second of all, we were down there and she did the dowling rods and that like really, so like moved. the questions. Yeah, like I'm not joking, like I literally did not believe that. Like I like, crossed my heart, hope to die, and I don't hope to die. That was a really bad thing to say. <laughs> but for real, I really wasn't believing that. That's crazy. What would you ask? Anything like? Well, we asked if there was anything evil and it crossed the rods, yes. And then we asked if it was targeting someone and the rods moved to me. Now I'm in the Toter home less than an hour ago, fucking around, saying the name is Azel and all this kind of stuff. And I don't know if that has to do anything with any of this, but I mean, you, there could really, really be some weird shit happening here. And I truly believe that there's, that there's something up. Like, I mean, it's, it's very strange. All of this is very, very weird. That's the reason, the reason I texted to come up here. Yeah, what's up, what happened to you guys? Oh, that crazy? So, no, 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 like, we've just been hearing all sorts of sounds and shit, but nothing crazy yet. That's why I wanted to call you and well, see if you're willing to do a ritual with us. We figured that you probably brought all the energy with you. Yeah, because you, you've been so many damn paranormal investigations, and you've been messing with all these haunted items and sorts. We were like, yo, if anything's gonna, like, come forward, it's gonna be through CJ. 
So I figured, why not come up here? We have this pointed at the wall. We sit here, or we come together, and we ask certain questions. We could do that ritual you're talking about, three sins, three... Uh, yeah, three sinners, three saints. We could do that. Or technically three sins, three saints, uh, but I mean... So do you guys want to do that? I, I'd like to. All right, okay, so, I'm gonna let you roll, and I'm gonna put my camera down for this, because this is this So, might... how many people have to play for this? Technically, everyone who's in the room is supposed to play. Okay. If anybody is, does not play, they're quote-unquote targeted. Okay. You know what I mean, because... Oh, that's bullshit, you're making that up. Just to get everybody to play. <laughs> no, I, I wish I was. I only, I've only played this twice, okay? And this once when I was younger, and then a couple months ago when we were at that resort, me, you, Sonny, Chris, Jen, and I mean, I, I kind of feel like some weird stuff, not crazy stuff happened, but just weird coincidences maybe, like the noises that we heard and stuff. But. So what do you think, if you have like one light source and turn multiple of the lights off and just... I say that, or I say we put it to the test. What if two people played, left three yeah. out, and that. see if anything is targeted towards three people? Yeah. You want to do that? Let's do it. Yeah. Me and you? I'm down. Let's do it. Oh, we got to change batteries. We're, we're going to die in a second. So. Yep. So we're going to put this device here, too. And then we have that little thing. So we have all sorts of equipment here. We're given more than enough ways to show yourself. We got the green grid in the background. So. We have to sit back to back. Okay. And basically, three sins, three saints is like. Can I do that? We should probably back up a little bit just so like we're not. Actually... Let's push that forward. Yes. Son of a bitch. All right, chill. <laughs> All right. Three sinners or three sins, three saints. You have to say, what do you want to start out with, the good or the bad? Let's start with the good. Well, what do you? What is your intention? Like, let us know what you're doing before you do it. Like, what is the reason you're doing this? So three sins and three saints is letting whatever spirit in the room judge you upon what they deem necessary. So if it's something good, they'll reward you in some way, supposedly. If it's something bad, then they can harm you in that way. You're just opening yourself up to good and bad. Okay. And it's letting whatever in the room choose what it wants, mm -hmm. which is weird. But I mean, it, it's kind of sketchy too, dude. So. We did this in Florida. All right, you want to go first with uh, start with good? No, I have to do it, man. All right. Um, donated uh, some money to a charity the other week. That's one good thing that I did. Um, second good thing that I did was uh, help somebody out that was uh, financially in a little bit of a pinch. Um, and then the third thing that I did was, you know, there was uh, somebody who purchased a vehicle from me had something wrong with it that had underlying conditions and I took literally an ass whipping on that deal. So that's three good things that I feel that I did by mm -hmm. doing doing something for other people. Okay. Uh, my turn. Uh, Chris and I, when we were down in Florida, we stopped by a soup kitchen. I donated a hundred dollars to the owners. Um, Keep going, keep so going. for everybody who doesn't know, Sonny went downstairs because he was not feeling this. He, doesn't, he, he did not want to do this ritual. He didn't want like, nothing to do with this. Yeah. Um, Go ahead. Man. Sounds like, okay. Um, next up, I was on Facebook the other day and I saw someone had a GoFundMe up. I donated $300 to their charity. Sonny? Those were clear as day. Should, should I finish? Yeah, yeah just go quick. Yeah, definitely finish. Uh, last good thing, um, today, before I left, I gave my dog a shit ton of treats and I didn't tell anybody. That's what's up. It's a bad thing. No, it's a good thing. Sonny. Sonny. Wait, there's me and you can walk in your camp and move around, dude. Yeah, we're not supposed to move. Can we go out there? Alright. Um, bad things. 
sinners. All right, so um, I'm just kind of roundabouting this, but uh, three three bad sins technically that I did was um, uh, I, I sprayed my grandmother with a garden hose when I was younger. I know that sounds really fucked up. I don't even know why I did it. I felt like shit. I still feel like shit to this day because of it. I was like four. Um, another thing that I'm not proud of is uh, some. God damn, this got deep all of a sudden. Yeah, this is definitely not going to make the video, I don't think. Have to bleed or anything. Uh, Just let it lose. Yeah. You got to be, be honest. Let's beat lie. this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there, there was a marriage that, that was broken up because of me. Um, gosh. <laughs> this is this is painstaking. What the fuck, what the fuck was that? Let me get this over with real quick. Um, put that ball and then right bro, here. Bro, bro, finish, finish, finish. Okay, and then the third thing that I did was um, one time I was I was given the wrong amount of change, and and I didn't say nothing about it, and I I honestly felt like shit over a couple of dollars. Okay. Well, my turn. So three just bad things I've done. And oh, it sounds like someone's talking down the hall. I know. Um, I mean, I guess I can relate with you on what you said in the second one. I um, I also ruined the marriage. Absolute shit. I didn't listen to music for like the next two hours. It was just a silent car ride. It was absolutely fucking awful. Oh my god. And uh, bad, another bad thing I did. Um, man, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I, I, what was the guy in the Civic today? What did you do? I, yeah, I flipped someone off pretty bad and then brake checked them in traffic today. Cause he didn't do anything wrong. We were just being mean. Listen, the funny thing kind of... Uh, that's it, that's three and three. Three and three, now what? Um, I'm looking to my right over here and just watching all of these appear and disappear. I, I've had laser grids before, but I've never seen them like anything like, move in front of them like that. It was just really weird to me. All right. Whatever spirits in this room, feel free to judge us on how on whatever you want, good or bad, that is completely up to you. You have the next hour. That's at least what what I've been told to say. So. Yeah. Oh fuck. You guys have to see it all. Hmm. You can see it for a while. No, it, it can judge you wherever you go. Technically, I mean, okay. dude, I I played this twice my whole life. Like, I I mean. There's only one time where it really freaked me out, and that was in Florida with all of us. Hmm. That's crazy. That was pretty What is walking down the fucking hall towards us? I'm looking straight down the hall. There's literally nothing down the hall. You can get up now? Yeah. This is crazy. We're going back or no? We'll take the lasers out of here? We'll come back for this. Now you just don't like feel good about something. Yeah. yeah. What were you feeling? What are you doing? I'm just right of you.
Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Where's the guys down there? We have, we have yeah. stuff in that room. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna put my camera down right here. Shit, dude. Hmm. So it wasn't him. Yeah. What the f Okay, hang on. Let's do the dowsing rod real quick. This is nuts. Let me do it right here in the center. That door literally just slammed that door back there. When Behind Chris. Wow. I caught it on camera. I'm like 90% sure. Holy shit. Where? Down there? No, that door right, right there. Right here on the right. Yeah, I, I know that one was open. Holy shit. At first, I thought it was going to be a mess. But now, when you just came up out of them steps, that doesn't make sense. Yo, like I heard this, I heard the squeak, and I kind of jumped a little, but then I heard the slam, and I like freaked out. It was squeaking, and it really slammed shut. I did too. I, I was like, okay, Sunny's messing with this, but it was not Sunny. Yeah, let's let's check inside here. Yeah, I'm gonna stab somebody. Anything? This is, I mean, you can't get out of this room. No, there's no way. And the, and the windows are boarded up. Look at that. This is open. But I don't think Sonny went outside. Nah, ain't no way jumping three stories. No, so you don't think going through the roof Holy and climb shit, around? ain't no way in hell. You kill yourself trying to do that. Yeah, there's no way. <gasps> oh, see that sh oh, I saw a shadow move across uh, that window right there. Guys? What? what? There's a black bag in here. Black bag says bloody lab coat. What the fuck? That's weird. It does. Whoa. What you got there? What is it? Bloody lab coat. That's very weird. Is there anything in it though? Huh? <laughs> no, I mean it goes back, but there's another hole busted back through there. That That's crazy. Like, oh shit! That's just really creepy. I said we put jazz in there. Like, leave them up there for a while. Oh god! Did you go? This is nuts. So you want to? So Let's we're do this. in this room. Do you want to do this? Ask your question too. What do we got? I've never used it. Actually, like Katie did. She had a good result right there. You want to do this, Katie? Yeah, sure. <laughs> we got your bag. Spirit in this room, move those rods to where you're standing, whatever direction you're standing in. Are you standing behind Katie? Is that what you're trying to say? Okay, why is that thing pointing straight at me? Well, there's a chair right there as well. Oh, okay. All right. Is, guys, is, yeah, this point for the chair. Okay. Same chair. All right. Uh, Katie, let's restart. That's that's. Try another question now. Um, that was weird. Do you want me to ask? Yeah, I want you to ask something next. Yeah. Okay. Um, man, I don't even... Is there a spirit attached to any of us in this room? Can you point to whoever, if anybody, there's a spirit attached to them? What is that? I'm just saying, is that point of jazz or no? Yeah, I mean, that's point pretty much jazz, um, in my opinion. Okay, cool. Um, thanks, bro. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, thank God, I'm good. That's all I need to know. Thanks. Why is my point? It's attached <laughs> to you, you know, my yeah. hell. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna you. Sure. Uh, what do I ask next? I'm just quick, it's attached to me, right? Say, is it, ask if it's dangerous. Okay. And how, how does it go? Yes or no? Yes. Just call the same whatever you want. Spell the Okay. Um, is the spirit that is attached to me, is it a dangerous or malicious spirit? Can you please cross the rods for yes or open up for no? Okay. Right That's in the middle? Good. That's good, yeah. yeah. That's neutral, so it means neutral. no, right? Right. I mean, you left them open for no, so yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to make all this go better. <laughs> well, they say a lot of times, like, you know, spirits are, like, stuck here. Right? They're not up there or down there. They're just trapped here. True. So maybe it's not, like, I don't know. And they should so, go back because your eyes are, like, this freaking big. <laughs> <laughs> 
What was that? You good? Thank you. Chris was right here. Touch I was me. over here. Like, I was to the right of Chris. Right. And for that to slam that bar, like, what do you even like? You have to kick that door harder, yeah, like, kick move it. it. I heard it creak. It sounded like it was, like, really I mean, slow at first. Like that. And they just I heard that. Shut. I, I really thought it was Sunny that I didn't know it, it but he didn't yeah. just hang up that freaking door. And... So, so I want to ask you, do you so have a spear box on you? Uh, I've got the necrophonic. Let's do that. Let's necrophonic. Do you want to go back in the room where we just did the sound? I think we do it right here, dude. Right here? I mean, to me, I mean, personally, like, this is where Katie and I had weird activity. Okay. Sunny had weird activity. I'm going to go get the bear. Okay. I'll be right back. You're good. I'll be right back. I just want to put it out there. I'm a huge skeptic on this app. So, like, I really hope there's some, like, crisp answers on this, because... So, here's the thing. With Necrophonic, him and I were skeptics. We were at the Honeycut farm. Okay. It said the word Honeycut. It said two names that we know are confirmed that used to actually work at the Honeycut. And then the accuracy of this app, like I was so skeptical. And he was too. I, I got to really say like. The thing, the thing what you have to do is you hear a lot of the same sounds that are repeated over yeah. and over again. Right. But you listen for like anomalies that happen in between all the repetition shit, you know what I mean? You hear the same things, but then you'll hear mm -hmm. things that'll come out that... So we like play stuff to like, no, there's no dead air, right? It's correct. like, just always stuff yeah. going on. There's a, yeah, it's, it'll be different different uh, sounds and things like that, and then, but, but you'll get something that's relevant to where the hell you're at. Mm -hmm. So, what the fuck was that? Oh, what was no, that being? Sorry, no, you know, uh, take it. Um, so I'm gonna approach this in a very unbiased manner then, and whatever, I'm like, well, I'm down with it. Let's see what happens. All right. Is there any spirits here with us right now? We're going to do a spirit box session. I'm here with my friend Jazz, Katie, Sonny, and Chris. My name is CJ. Um, feel free to talk through this. Uh, you, can, you can use some of that white noise in the radio to speak through, and you can clearly say whatever you'd like. So um, I'm going to ask the first question. I'm going to ask not just a normal question. I'm going to ask some hard-hitting stuff. Not, is there a spirit here or anything along those lines? But I'm going to ask, is there anything that we need to be scared of on this third floor? Yo, CJ, point out the ground, Chris. Every? Yep. Yes. She had a couple of lights there. Is there any one spirit? Oh my God. Every time you ask. Bro, that's fucking weird. It was hitting orange. It's not going off on us. Hey, would, would you want to hold it, maybe, so we can see it? If, it ever was, or if there's something malicious here, can you... What's that? <laughs> Damn, what's going on, bitch? Tell me, right? Get the hell away from me! <laughs> Where are they going? You gonna kill that, too? Bro. Oh, you're right there. Cricket? See ya. Just a cricket. All right, sorry, I just didn't know what that was. Can, can you say one of our names? Yeah. Is it Sunny? I don't know, everybody's gonna say really still. It's not like Sunny. That's going off. That's red. Can you say one of our names? Chris. Is that Chris? What was that? Bro, I just went to red. It just, bro, holy shit. Can you say your name? Chris. Right there. Can you hear something back there? Can you all please make sure nothing comes to me? Yeah, please. I'm going to stop this for one second. I know that a lot of you could not speak, or a majority of you in, in this particular building could not speak very well, so if you could make something move, make a noise of some sort, um, 
maybe come and touch that spirit box more, I don't know, or the uh, EMF meter. But make a noise of some sort for us. Let us know that you're here. That's me. It's alright to make a noise if you want. Is it? Alright. Um I'm not sure. No more questions? You wanna push our luck or do you want to? Then move on. If there's anything evil in here, make a noise within the next 20 seconds. But is an evil spirit gonna just announce that it's evil or is it gonna That's hide the fact true. that it's evil? Because um, I've heard stories. Disguise about itself. Disguise is it. <laughs> Very weird. <laughs> you ready? Okay. Sip of water. Okay, so right now we are in the Mayflower building and we are going down. Well, technically we're just about here. It's a basement. Um pretty sick. I have a mic on. Should double check. Yeah. Okay. What is this rookie hour? No, I'm sure. Alright guys, so we are here in the Mayflower building. This right here is the basement we're just about there a couple steps away <laughs> but um cj said that he was experiencing some crazy stuff down here so i was like you know what we should check it out we should <laughs> check it out now let's see what goes on down all of these parts oh my god i remember this damn place dude you been here before like in this exact basement oh uh, yeah this is where that big spider was that i showed you okay so dude this is creepy as hell yeah to say the least The craziest graffiti. What the? F yeah. This Dude, good. this is crazy. Hold on. I think I have my K2 on me. Oh my gosh. I like this law. No? No. Here's the thing we come across so many dolls when we play around on Arca. Like, this is just. Shh. What? What's that? If there's anybody here with us. Can you please yeah. light up this little book machine we got here, guys? What was that? Hey. Bro, that ball's moving. Look at it. Look at this ball moving right here. Did you hear that? I heard the bounce. I heard something. What did, what did I just say? If there was somebody here, can you do something? And Hold Yo, on. I'm freaked out. That was crazy. Yo, I'm freaking out. Hold on. I'm gonna leave my K2 here. I'm not touching that. On the bed. Okay. Yeah. See Numbers kind of low right now. So. Look at the huh? Look oh, at these dolls. Like no broken heads. Be up. What was this? The bathroom or something? It had to have been. It was just weird. Yeah. yeah. Like really short people. Hey, really. Try to solve a shadow over here. That's serious. Area? Dude, there's like games and stuff. There's a checkers right there. Maybe like a commons area, you know? Yeah. Oh, bro. Why do you look at this thing? Oh, you ready? <laughs> Incredible. Thank nice you. work. I just catch checkers. I Dude, would. We can have some fuck you up in checkers. No chance. Ready? Yeah. Hold on, what the hell is that? 
Hey, bro. Hold on. This is crazy. I don't think I went this far last time. No? Like, I don't know. I can't remember. Just trying to remember right now. I said voices, but I'm so bad at this, huh? Yeah, I thought I was Hey, what is this? Where does this go? Look at all these toys. Is that a jump for a bike? A what? A bike jump. Oh, a ramp. It's just like a dungeon. Like, it's just terrifying. Yeah, no, I said at least. Curious George. Home toy. So, what do you think? I don't know. Talk for it. Huh. So, hold on, Sorry. What's that? Up. You said that ball was rolling. I heard the bounce. It I, I like heard bounce. something. I didn't know it was a ball. Oh, that was a snake right there. Oh, no. I don't know. This is crazy. Yeah. What do you think? It's a shake like. Ah, oh, I what? Know. Bro, what's wrong? Bro, what are you doing? What was wrong? Bro, 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 relax. Dude, stop. What are you doing? What the f What's what wrong? The you talk to me? What is wrong? Uh, Chess, what is wrong, dude? Uh, bro, what? You say something. Uh, uh, what? Oh, uh, dude. Oh. Yeah, look ah. at this. Dude, you got scratched. By what? There's scratches. Look, stop, 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 stop. I can't see it. anything. I'm sorry, there's I'm not like, an owl. Stop, there's, oh my God, dude, there's three. I might lie. One, two, three. Ah. Wow. She Holy so shit. Bad. Dude, those are crazy. Ah. That just happened? Dude, out of nowhere. What the fuck? Dude, chill, 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 chill. Dude, those are bad. We should seriously get the f out of here. Like, let's go upstairs. I'm done, dude. Fuck. Ah. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hold on. Stop. Like a lightheaded shit right now. Yeah, I said somewhere. So there was something there. Is it bad? Yeah. No, that's bad. That's real bad. I'll take a picture of my phone if you want. Could you? Yeah. So you gotta stay still for a second. Holy. F dude, those are long scratches. Say so? Oh my god, dude. Look at that. D. Ah. It's really dark. That looks painful as hell, I understand that. Uh, Is it because we touched the checkerboard or something? It feels like something just went like, like oh why? Why would that happen? It's shit. I don't get it. We didn't do anything. Sticks, the sticks earlier, the sticks earlier, remember? What? And you guys played the game. What about it? You guys played the game. What about I it? I had an hour to pick, remember? Three sinners, three yeah, saints. Yeah, yeah. And the sticks pointed to you, remember? When Katie asked if there was something evil around anybody? And look who it pointed to. CJ said, what, an hour? And then CJ left. They're not even here. Um. We, should, we need to call him. I don't know if you have service on here, but as soon as we see the car, I'm going to call you I'm going to be on the tall one. There we go. Um, yo, hold on, I think I dropped my oh, light fan. Yeah. Thank you. Shh, what's that? There's something behind us. There's something behind us. There's, behind us. There's a door closed. Hello? Is it? I don't even want to talk anymore. I just need to see you get out of here. I mean, I can't see it. I don't remember that, but... Are you okay? Dude, I don't feel like... I feel like I'm lightheaded as fuck. That was the ball, huh? Hey, look. That's the first thing that happened with that ball. What's that? Uh, Beautiful stuff, sir. Uh, Bro, we need to get out of here. Come on. 
I need to sit down. Yeah, let's get out of here. We're sitting in that chair for a second, but we need to get out of here. Dead ass. We keep the light on, and it's like now it's darker down here. Yeah. Thanks. It's old place. Is it like? Is it still there? Yeah, it's like it's getting worse. Oh, I'm serious. That's just the stairs are right there. Let's just get out of here. I don't know. Just get up and just get yourself together. Come on. My stairs. Right here. Can you, can you just please cut that. Just in the okay. I want to get the hell out of here. Alright, I'm there. Alright, dude. So we just arrived at our hotel. It's 420. <laughs> 420 plays it. Dude, I am in so much pain. I even. Oh my god. What is that? Like... Just all scratched up. Dude, that's crazy. Shit, it hurts, man. Those it are like, wild. It like goes down into my back. Insane, honestly. It like literally felt like just like a hot, hot hand just went <sighs> like nails out and everything. Yeah. That shit hurt so bad and on top of that like i didn't know what to do my ears were ringing my head was like shaking that's why i was like going to the right a lot like i couldn't get my balance I was freaking the hell out i called cj and i informed him on everything he's like dude i guess it makes sense the damn game we played three sinners three saints yeah and he was like listen man like what happens is something will show you or come forward in some type of way or form then i guess in this sense Scratch. i don't know what because like my sins weren't like yes unfortunately i did hit a rabbit on the way here and like that killed me inside and like i don't know what the hell that would have to do with anything no it shouldn't have. but like i just think that and how then thick that is those are wild uh -huh. And then Katie with the rods, when they asked if there's any anyone had an evil spirit around them, and it pointed right to you. Right to me. Yeah, on footage, so. So I'm just thinking, like, maybe... maybe I mean, I, I came into this entire experience as a skeptic. Not saying that, like... I, did, I do believe that there's some other things going on, absolutely. Did I believe in ghosts 110%? No, absolutely not. But damn, this was different. Like, explain this. How do you explain this? I mean, I've seen stuff like this on TV before, but I've never seen it in person. Like, out of it's damn terrifying. nowhere, just... That's scary, bro. Yeah. I mean, like, I felt like we were being watched down there, but it was nothing like... I mean... It was a feeling you the get. The ball? You, the ball. You, the ball you saw? I didn't get to go back and, like, watch that, but it literally sounded like the ball fell and bounced a couple times, and it rolled. I, I heard, like, something drop. Yeah. So, like, when you said the ball was rolling, it kind of, like, yeah. clicked in my head. I was like, that makes sense. There's no one else in this whole building except there's one guy who works there. And he works in the, the office in the back. So yeah, I don't Caden, super nice guy. Not for nothing, but they have access to all the security cameras that are inside. Yeah. So like the, oh, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Well, all I'm gonna say is I need a long ass sleep right now. I need to recover. I wish yeah. I had some ice on me. Everything is closed. But all good. I'm gonna try to get as best yeah. rest as I can and we're gonna move on from here. So all that being said, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys are enjoying these haunted videos, smash, I don't know. Yeah. I gotta be honest with you, like, up until this moment, it wasn't, like, crazy. Yeah, no, up until it that, was cool, I it wasn't, wasn't, like, sold. No, like, I don't see how people do this all the time, I guess. With that's, all respect to people who do that, I just, I yeah. don't know. Like, th these, these types of videos are cool, but, like, I just can't see myself doing this all the time every week you know, you know? like dropping one regularly yeah I don't see so it. i mean like what chris and i could do is we could do like a haunted investigation every month or so so yeah. if you guys want to see more haunted videos smash that like button comment down some locations that you guys want chris and i to go to yeah some haunted spots someone yeah. said lizzie borden house That'd or be something cool. that's like the axe murder right yeah it's the axe cool. murder we have the conjuring house booked very soon that's gonna be our halloween special yeah and then um dude i don't know i just need some damn rest my damn it's four we gotta get up and Go play around Monica in the morning, and then we gotta go home, so. Yeah, guys. Thank you so much for the support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.